It's Saturday morning. I'm wearing contacts for the first time in a freaking age. And what are we doing? Cedar Point. Yeah! We're leaving all of these wonderful people. Look at all those beautiful people. Those are all Meg's camp's friends. They're pretty awesome. We're at Cedar Point! Yeah! We're gonna ride roller coasters until we die. No. Until the day ends. For the entire rest of Saturday, because we're not leaving here until after midnight. So, the entire rest of Saturday. We are two hours into our time here and have only been on one ride because Mallory got us in the line for a ride that then had technical difficulties and shut down, which is totally my fault, obviously. Uh, but we did ride uh, Magnum XL, which is a 30-year-old coaster. They're celebrating their 30th year. They were the tallest and fastest coaster in 1989 when it was built, and that was fun. I had a good time. Uh, we conquered the first wooden roller coaster, Gemini, where I once again picked red, because I'm in a red mood, guys. I guess that's all there is to it. I picked red instead of blue, but it turned out to be good luck, because the blue side shut down. Our next coaster is Steel Vengeance. Look at this. I just like the aesthetics of this sign. We just finished riding Steel Vengeance. Amazing coaster. Terrible story. Terrible. <laughs> So you're introduced to everybody who's like part of this frontier town, which was kind of cool. Like I thought that bit was interesting. Agreed. Like, and it, they've got like a set of characters that you're intrigued by. And then you meet the three like heroes of the story who've all been wronged by Maverick. Maverick is a ride that has existed in this area for a while. The ride we just rode is new in 2018. So Maverick apparently kicked them out of town and then they nursed their wounds, came back and built the fastest, tallest, longest roller coaster in Vengeance. Maybe we need to know what the Maverick story is before we know if this is truly idiotic. That's true. We are gonna ride Maverick, but first, food! We just got off Millennium Force, and man, if there's a ride where you can feel the G's, it's that one. Like, whoo! That ride was fast. We just rode Rougarou! Which is just a fun word. And it was a fun coaster. And as Meg pointed out, it is the first over the shoulder coaster that we were on, right? Yeah. Yeah, first shoulder wise. harness, restraint wise. Um, which is interesting. I guess I didn't realize that, but it's fun and we're looking forward to what's next. We're gonna ride the Iron Dragon, which is like a gondola style coaster. And I've never been on a gondola style. They're fun. Yeah, Megan has. So it'll be a new experience for me and a fun experience for Megan. So like, that's good all the way around. I enjoyed the gondola style coaster and we got to ride in the front row. First front row of the day. And it was good. We're watching the show. I'm so proud of us. Look at these like trampoline guys. Blue Streak was old and it was rough, but I had a very good time. Still though, I maintain highlight of the roller coaster riding day was the lady behind us in the Iron Dragon, which when it started, like it took the first sail and she goes, oh golly gee. <laughs> which is a roller coaster reaction for the ages. Agreed, Meg? Oh golly gee. Oh golly gee. Title of the video. <laughs> Since you were last graced with our presence, we have ridden the corkscrew, the gatekeeper twice, and the Val Raven. Val Raven is my favorite gatekeeper, is Megan's, hence the riding it twice bit. Hi! Thank of the three that we just did. Yeah, of the three that we just did, yeah. But. Yeah. Uh, and now, there's still half an hour before park closed, so we are making our way back to what is probably our favorite, which is Steel Vengeance, so we can ride that again. And maybe we'll see if... Maverick looks like yeah. it's up. Okay, so we might go to Maverick, because if it's open, we might as well try it. We haven't ridden it yet. Uh, but there's still half an hour of park left, so we're gonna have fun. Since we last checked in, we rushed our way to Maverick, which we thought was going to be our last ride. Uh, well, we debated between coming back to Steel Vengeance or doing Maverick, but Megan read the description for Maverick, decided it was worth it. And Andrew had already said that that ride was rough, but really, really good. Uh, that ride was wild. 
it definitely throws you around and it moves very fast and it was super fun and I would have been perfectly fine if that was our last ride because it was really good. But the app said 75 minutes and the answer was zero. Yeah. Zero minutes. It just walked right on. So that means we rode that at 11.45 and then we rushed our little butts over here and here we are at Steel Vengeance for our last ride of the night. Yeah! Vlog, that coaster is so Steel Vengeance good. is phenomenal. Like, like we rode uh, it once at the beginning of the day and we're like, wow, that was really good. Really, really setting the bar here, Steel Vengeance. But then we just rode it after riding literally everything else. Yeah, and there is no comparison. It's so, so good. And uh, it is now 12.40, <laughs> according to the scrunchy time. And we are on our way out because, you know, the park technically closed 40 minutes ago. So we're going to take the long, lonely ride out of here. We are slow enough leaving Cedar Point that the music has stopped. This is, this is a life goals theme park sort of thing, you know? to be in the park after the music. Also wouldn't happen at Universal because they don't shut off the music until they're for sure everyone is out, but uh, I'm kind of enjoying this eeriness. Especially the cut from music to silence oh, was yeah, really fun. Oh yeah, mid-song. Wasn't yeah. fade out, <laughs> nope. wasn't a song ended. In Why don't you just meet me in... <laughs> and then someone yelling, get out. Yeah. So. And we're, we're doing it, we're getting out. We're so close. <laughs> we are we really close. We couldn't go any faster. I mean, we could, but it's been a day. I mean, let's be real, if Steel Vengeance was on the other end of this walk, we'd be going faster. But it's on that end of the walk, so we going slow. It has been an amazing day, and I will see you tomorrow.